friends, welcome back. Here we are today, gonna to work on a 36 by 24 canvas, and here are the colors. We'll start on this end here. Uh, this is a copper and a rose gold mixed together. The red is festive red. And the blue, it's a sapphire blue, which is a folk art paint. This little light blue is Indian turquoise and some Artist Loft soft body white. And this is mint sage. And last but not least, um, for my puddle paints, I have um, Artist Loft white soft body paints. And of course, my dump paint, which is Artist Loft soft body black paint. So here we have it. We're going to use quite a bit of paint on this large canvas. And I'm going to get set up here in a second. And we'll get started. Okay guys, here we are, it's time for some jazz hands. Hello, welcome back. We're gonna start right away. We're gonna put white on the bottom and we're gonna use the lighter colors um, on the bottom of this puddle. Um, sometimes what I see end up happening is that the lighter colors start to come through and it kind of pulls your eye towards the negative space. I did put a little bit of the dark blue in there to put a little bit of a contrast um, with the lighter colors. And then I put some of that coppery color with this bright red, and I just layered with the blue um, and the copper and red on top of the rest of this painting. I thought I had a little too much uh, paint on the canvas, but um, I figured I could tilt some of that off, and we'll see what kind of results we get. Just checking the black paint, making sure the consistency is right. I always stir my paints right before I pour them. I just want to make sure they are not settled and they are nice and mixed very, very well. I also pour slowly to limit the disbursement of the um, puddle paints underneath. Um, this is what creates the negative space is when I pour the black in one spot. So I'm going to show you something in a minute that drove me crazy and I figured, well, maybe I could paint this out later. But what you'll see when we get into the final um, walkthrough, it, I don't even know where it went, it closed up. But there on the left-hand side in the middle, um, there's this big blob and there was some schmuck and I was able to tweeze it out. Uh, but at the same time, I was concerned about um, what that would look like in the long run. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop talking and let you watch the rest of this. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. friends, it's Dwight. I'm back. And you know, I wasn't sure when I walked away how this was going to turn out. And I walked in and I was like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Uh, if I do say so myself, I am very pleased um, primarily with all the movement. I mean, we have a lot down here and around. I'm sorry, there's a glare up here. And you can see this beautiful ring around the negative space. Now, I'm a sucker when it comes to negative space. I'd rather have it fill in. I know that doesn't always happen, but I think this is pretty cool. Let me show you close up. I know, I'm excited, so bear with me. Look at these cells down here. They've got the, the red and that copper color I put in. Yeah, and these are just awesome. 
Now, something, I'm gonna say something about these kind of pours. Um, I don't trip on my stuff on the floor here. Sometimes when I pour these, I have, like you can see these cells, right? There we go, right here. They have the dots in the middle and sometimes they sink a little bit into the black. Um, like there's no dots in here. Guys, I'm really sorry about the light in here. It's been like cloudy and rainy for like a week. And now the sun is out and it's so bright as you can see. Um, so I apologize for the glare. Um, but yeah, I just wanna show you these cells, nice big juicy cells. This blue is gorgeous with this red and this corner here is just spectacular. Well, what I like about the negative space is that it's, you know, it's not symmetrical. I've got these cells here, got some through here and through here. I will most likely, depending on how it dries, just very lightly touch these up. There's no other blemishes in the negative space, which is really nice. Yeah, I like the 3D effect of this. Oh boy, I'm really happy. I wasn't really sure. I was ready to come back in here and scrape it and start over, to be honest with you. But there's no need to do that. All right, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little excited. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this cool. So, okay friends, um, I will chat with you later. And thanks for watching and we'll see you maybe tomorrow.